how deep should you squat down when you are jumping to block? We're going to answer that in this video. In our Facebook groups, in our courses, and in person, we get this question all the time. How low should I be getting when I'm preparing to jump for my block? The answer is pretty in-depth, and it's gonna be unique to every one of us. So let's go through a little bit of what we should be thinking about when we're deciding how deep to go in order to block. The first thing you need to know is that everybody's body is built very differently. So everything from ankle mobility and hip mobility to leg strength and core strength is gonna dictate whether you're able to get super low or you can get super high. We see blockers all the time on Amazon Prime, on YouTube, AVP, FIVB, all of these players who are jumping to block and sometimes we see a great blocker who puts their butt all the way on their heels before they start their block and then they come up and they can spring out of it. But sometimes we see a guy like Phil Dahauser who is the world's best blocker for a decade. He only goes into a quarter squat. So why do we have some of the world's best blockers jumping completely differently? It's due to anatomy. So you can experiment with this on your own, but there's no correct depth that you need to use that we can really lock down and say, this is the best depth that you can use to jump from because we all have our different body builds. What you do wanna do is run a test for yourself. And there's gonna be a few of those tests. One of those is just a quick 90 degree block jump. Make sure that as fast as you can, you drop to your 90 degrees and then get up and touch as high as you can. The next time, I want you to run the test and drop as low as you can. You can put your hands on the sand and then jump up high and see if you can reach that same point. Now, some people fall really off balance when they get into that deep squat. Some people lose a lot of power. So you need to decide what jumper you are. Are you the type of jumper that can get down low, fast, and spring out of it with good balance? Or do you put up a higher block when you get into that half squat, into the 90 degree squat? That's your choice and you have to run the test. As soon as you see this video, I want you to go warm up and you can use that warm up before you decide to run this jump test, but see where you touch higher. And after this video, I want you to comment below or come back and tell us what type of jumper you are. Did you jump higher when you went from a really deep squat or from your 90 degree bend? There's another thing to consider. Maybe you're jumping at around the same height when you get to 90 degrees or you get really deep into that squat. The next thing you wanna consider is how well can you move out of that position? Sometimes we see people who can get into this deep, deep, deep position and then they jump out of it, but maybe that person, I'm thinking specifically right now of Andy Mole, Norwegian blocker who is an incredible athlete, but he's huge and he's got really long arms. So when he squats down, even though his feet might not be exactly perfect, he can take up a lot of space because he's got a long torso long arms. He does have excellent footwork. We're not going to take that away from him, but he also has the ability to take over more space. Now, if you're smaller, if you've got shorter arms, right, you don't jump as high, maybe your footwork needs to have exact perfect placement and you need to make a lot of late little adjustments. It's really important to be in a great lineup as well. So when you're deciding whether you want to be a big deep jumper, you also have to decide what type of footwork you need to be in a great position. Sometimes we can be a combination player because if you jump a little bit higher from deep on the ground, but you're less mobile, you can't move side to side, then you can choose to use that deep jump when that player is coming right at you and you're already in a great position. But if you have to move around a lot because it's a scramble play or that setter's a little bit off balance, you're probably not gonna be able to get as deep in your squat, and that's okay, but you have to be in the best spot for the lineup to get the block. 
So if you're a combo player, maybe when that player is coming right at you, you can use your deep squat and maybe you get higher. Or if you're a little bit off balance, use your quick squat and jump in order to do that. Again, the most important thing is that you are testing yourself. So go ahead, run the test, do your deep squat jump, then do your 90 degree squat jump. And tell me in the comments when you come back, whether you jumped higher from the deep squat or the 90 degree squat. I would love to hear from you. If you like this video or any of our other videos, make sure that you are subscribed to us on YouTube and hit the bell so that you get notified anytime we make a new video.